Welcome back folks, this is lesson 88, all the eights, 88, and uh, what I've got on the screen, for the, the initial sketch which I showed you some on one of the others, that this is the, the, the quick sketch that we were doing, and it's a, a few cottages here, doing down the lane, a tree there, and a couple of old trees here, and then this here. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to put it, the light is coming from, uh, from hitting that in the face there, and I'll put some darks on there. So it'll, the darks will be there, and the, the shadows will be across that way as well. So that, that's our basic start for that. Uh, let's put that out of the way. The colours are, excuse me, no, oh, the colours are uh, raw sienna, uh, ultramarine, ultramarine and burnt umber. Uh, leave out the Elizabeth Crimson for there. I might, I might touch it later, but, but, but just now you don't need it. Just them top three colours and away we go. Once you've got that, we'll start. So I can put that out of the way as well. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear me. Um, I'm using the uh, <coughs> the squirrel squirrel mops, uh, which I've been using for the last few lessons, just to show you a different style of painting. I can I can use the others, but but I'm just going to have a go with these and see how we go. Just a bit of loose painting. Right. Let's see what we've got for a sky first, shall we? It'll be a nice and sunny day, so let, let's just put in. Oh, no. Put in a bit of sun. I'll do it dry in today. Dry sky. Light coming from there. Let's, let's see about some clouds in here as well. Of course, you, to, on a dry surface, you're making your own clouds, so remember that. So you're painting around them. Wherever you want the clouds, paint around them. Just keep them coming down like this. Remember where your clouds are. And then soften as it comes towards the horizon. Let's soften that blue a bit as we go to the distance here. Get that down to the ground level. Do not about the tree go over that if you like. Soften it as it comes down towards the <coughs> as the sky goes away from it, it gets weaker. Or it appears to get weaker because it's further away from you. Just work the bit of that. <coughs> and of course if you want to put some shadows in, because the, the lights come from the right, we'll put some shadows in, shall we? we use that. We've got two or two of these brushes here. I'll just use one of these to start with and put a bit of shadow on that. Uh, also marine and burnt umber. I don't want to be too heavy on this, it's because it's, it's, it's a lightish sky. So you're going to get some shadows down here, aren't you? On the underside of your clouds. Side there. And on the underside. Same with this other one. So the lights from here, they're going to be shadowy like this. And it gives it, it gives it a more three dimensional look. So it's just flat white, isn't it? Pull some up into there. And once you 
to get that steady start fiddling. So stop that. <coughs> then leap. Accept what you've got. Right. Let's get this. <coughs> the next stage is to is to pop in the, this some depth, some distance into it to, to take this in, in the, take us down the lane, if you like. So we'll put some depth down here. Uh, and there'll be some uh, depth there. Let's, let's put, start up with our, our ultramarine blue we've got in the sky. And here you can put a touch of alizarin crimson in it, if, just to give it a, a touch of uh, colour. That should be all right. Let's test it. That should be fine. And this will be sort of this. Way. Don't, don't get busy with it. Just pop it in. I might put a touch of, uh, just start with the, with the a bit of raw sienna and a bit of the French altar mixed together and that should be, put a bit of distant green in here to bring it a bit forward for us, just on top of that, that'll bring that colour towards us. And there's a tree behind there which we've got to sort out. That's mid mid range tree, if you like. So I'm going to have a bit of cadmium yellow there. Just a touch. Not making much as there's only that tree there. Touch of cad yellow. With a touch of, I think, winds of blue red shade in that. Let's get a, a bit of a green on there. That, that, that's, that's quite nice. I said, don't get busy with it. It's we're out of the tree. We'll sort that out later. That brings that further forward. Have I got a touch of this down? This kind of stuff in, in there. With a tree showing. Yeah, I've got some dark in there now. That's ultramarine and the burnt timber. Give me a nice juicy dark down there in the, in the bottom of this because the light's from the the right, isn't it? So we're going to get this darkness down on that side and to the bottom. Right, there's, there's a bit, sort of a grassy area there, and this is this is grass as well. So we, I want to get some of these filled in before we, before we uh, start doing the buildings and that. So let's I'll mix a bit more of that that grass colour. Let's make it cadmium yellow. That's such a windable red shade. Just a touch because it's a strong stain of that one. Let's see how we go with that and so test. That seems alright. Right, water that down a bit. We'll, we'll put some of this field in here. So they flop with these brushes, but uh, you, you, you can manage them. It's uh, they're not bad. I'll darken that a bit. Mm. 
bring it forward a bit. Right, let's go across the road now. Stop and switch this green in here. Bit of a path there. Over these bushes as well. It's getting rid of the white paper. It's not. It's not a snow scene, so we we're getting rid of that stuff. Touch of dark in this corner here. Some under the uh, under the bush there. I'll restate that bush in a minute. This this one here. Right. Leave that now. Got the most of it up there. Right. Let's put the put the road, you know, the path or whatever like they call it. I've got that raw sienna. This is a nice. Nice colour to introduce it into here, isn't it? Then we'll, it's a bit closer, we'll put some burnt sienna in here. This foreground where it's coming towards us. Lose it, lose it as you go into the distance. And of course, right in this foreground here, we're going to get some burnt umber. I'll really bring it, bring it towards you. A bit of a path in there, isn't there? Let's put that path in there. And a bit of that bluey stuff down here. And the strokes are in the direction of travel. So down towards the, the distance there. Well, let's flatter that out a bit. Right, see what's happening next. I think we'll put in uh, the distant trees and that. Uh, let's get a touch of that. Burnt umber there. Some of this blue. Uh, it's 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 summer, so we, we we're not going to see a lot of a lot of branches. So don't get too excited with it. In fact, I'll leave that like that. And introduce some some greenery on it first, and then that'll that'll save me how to paint all the trunk, won't it? So don't get busy on it. Remember where the light's from? Top right, isn't it? So we're going to get some darks on here. Down that side, down there. On the underside of this. And perhaps on the underside of that. And we can put some branches in, in the, in the gaps, can't we? See, we get some dark there to put some branches in. Branch coming up there. there. 
It don't, no one too strong on this because it's background, isn't it? It's a spear carrier. That'll do. Don't, don't mess with it. Now I've got a tree in front here. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the branches in first, and I say it'll, it'll seem. I'll put the trunk of the leaves in first. As I say, we have to paint the trunk. I'm getting cadmium yellow because it's, it's high summer. It's cadmium yellow. Some winds of blue, red shade. Should be a richer green that because it's it's coming towards me. Let's start up with that. That should be nice just here. Don't be frightened of overlapping that one because because you painted it nicely. I've seen <laughs> I've seen that in, in uh, when I've been judging exhibitions and things like that. But they painted a nice tree in the background, and the tree in the front, the it was it was so nice the background trees they painted around it. <laughs> it was a bit odd, but uh, but they liked it, so so it worked. Right, let's put some dark into that. Remember where the light's from? Top right, isn't it? So all, all this side will be a bit shady. This floppy brush, it's, it's not bad. It, uh, it, it behaves itself if you're careful. Just from doing the shadow areas, as if the light's coming from there, you see, that side. So you're going to get shadows on, on all of these, uh, the, the collection of leaves. So you, you'll get it in, in certain places. Chunking on that now. That burnt umber, that's quite a nice colour. It's not, it's not brown trunks, are very rarely brown, we'll have it darker than that. They take on a, a, a browny green tinge. Let's pop that trunk in there. Let's have a look from some branches and see it come up through here, over it up. One will come up across here, won't it? Holding that lot up, one around here. And 
because the lights come from there so this side of the that trunk will be will be darker on that side won't it So that's one put that one in its place now you see that's now because we painted it paler that's gone behind this one you can see that this one's in front of it so that's that's we've achieved that we haven't put much detail on that because we know it's at the background this is more detail because it's in the foreground i might take a bit more of that green further down there because it's it looks a bit like a bit lollipopy i don't like that In the leaf colour again. Bring them down here a bit. I'll give them the dark treatment as well. That's fine, we'll get the shadows under there later. It's alright, we've, we've, we've got a tree at this side, but I think we'd better paint them houses first because the tree might come over them. So let's, let's see where we go from there. Now these houses, I'm going to, I'm going to paint this as with this snow sand, if you like. These are white houses here with a pantal roof on them. And we'll see where we go. So we'll put the pantal roof on first. And that colour we need is... Uh, I, I, I like burnt sienna for this. It's a nice pantal colour and a good, a good uh, number, and a good colour, uh, sort of a complementary colour of, of the the greens. Chimney pot again. The chimney pot at that end. There must be a semi detached or something. That one and this one. You know, it's a, a, quite a floppy brush. This you can you can still do a bit of detail with it. It, it. it behaves itself. Well, sometimes anyway. It's the edge of the pantal roof you'll see on that side. And because it's, uh, it looks a bit beer and cool like that. So we've got to we've got to sort of take a bit of that new one itself. They've been there for years, these. That's just, I'm putting some ultramarine blue into that just to, to make it look a bit oldie worldy. roof at the back there. The roof on the chimney again. There's some chimneys about on this one. I will put a bit of blue under that one as well just to take the niceness off it. Right, 
that's it for the start, I think. It's right there, nice and dry now. And we can start putting, put a few windows in for a start. How's that? In fact, I tell you what I'll do. They're the, the floppy, these, but I think it would be, be better to use a, a smaller brush just to stop, stop in the detail like this. Just show that somebody's, somebody's living there. The door, I'll change the colour on that one. That's a few, a few windows in, but a couple of doors in there as well. Uh, if I put a red door on that, that'll draw the eye to it, won't it? So that that first cottage is our focal point. This one here. This one. Must be a mate, you know, shared the, shared the tin. Right, we'll put him a, a door. He's further down the lane, so he's not as important, so we'll give him a brown door, shall we? Just let here. And he can have a brown door as well. At least they look a bit more lived in when you do that. I can just indicate just a touch of pan tile here. Just a thin line of, of structure on there just to this one will come down this way. side and that side and that side and that side right let's see what else we can do now we're going to build it, let them dry for a bit. Uh, we can introduce some, oh, but get this other tree in first, that's, that's what the first, first job. So a nice tree again. Cadmium yellow, nice basis for your, your tree to start with. Winds of a red shade. Tester. That seems alright. And it, it's here, this one, it, it's round here. Let's 
leave some holes in it. You might just cover that tree, that house a bit, just there. In fact, I don't know where to see the trunk because we've got, oh, mine, I'll put it in front of it. I'll, let, I'll do that. Put this tree in front of that, uh, that tree at the back there. Remember where the light's from? Top left, isn't it? Top right, sorry. Don't want to confuse you. It's more open this tree than that one there. I'll slip some dark, slip some darks in there to. It's really juicy dark at the bottom. It's amazing how dark these, these shadow areas get, you know. chunky now burnt umber and some ultramarine we've got those on the palette a nice mix of chunky like this They look a bit as of the levitating there. I'll sort the grass out in a minute. A little bit of bush there. Be nice. That kills that end of it. That could be a nice bit of a rubinia. Rubinia, pseudo acacia. Nice. Put a bit of dark in the bottom there. Sort out these. There's a bit of a hedge there, isn't there? I better put that hedge in better. Let's get down to there. Behind the tree. Some a bit better than that. Or something nicer than that on there. That's 
bit of fresh green on there, that'd be nice. Richer green that. Get this mop brush going again. Not alone this. Let's have some dark in that foreground here amongst the bushes. Don't, don't be frightened, just whatever's in your mind, go, go for it. If it doesn't work, it's only a piece of paper, isn't it? I won't think of that tree in there, which is, which is nicer. Dark in this corner here. Bit of twiddle down here. In amongst that lot. See the, the, what that that's done is is brought this part of this grass, it, this this scenery, in front of that one there, and it's, it's you know it's, you know this is jumping out at you and that that's gone backwards now. This one is nice and nice manicured if you like because it's near the houses, so that's not bad. Uh, in fact, it doesn't give that treatment on that down there, and and it should look a bit nicer. Let's see how we go. Shrub in there, but put a shrub in there. That's I think I'll put a darkish, darkish green shrub in there, shall we? It should stand out that against the you don't need much. It just shows that the neighbours, you know, care about the houses. I just give a quote on that, just to take, it, bring it forward a little bit. That. If I can do it. Don't like that.
a bit of a hinge there on the popping as well. A bit of a dark edge. A bit more depth down there. A bit of a dark shrub on this one here. The end of that garden will be taken into the distance, won't it? No, I'm not keen on this. Uh, you're going to get some dirt at the edge of the into the the road here, aren't you? Where the, where the when it meets the gravel. Some on this one. On a miserable day outside, it's, it's, it's Saturday and it's miserable. Cup final day. I'll be watching that later. Can I see less to win because they're the underdogs, aren't they? I like the underdog winning. Right, let's sort of what next. So I said put some need to put some branches up through this, don't we? It'd be quite strong that branch up there to start with. It'll branch out as it comes up around here. across there like that. Wrench it off it. It's come through a bit wider there because it's, it's quite thick that branch. Just follow the way the, 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 the tree grows and just take them through them gaps where the where the birds fly through. You're not going to see all the branches, you're going to see a few. That'll do for that one. Right, the next thing we need to do, I think, is, is look at some shadows. We need some shadows because it's a, the light is coming from the right, there's nothing happening there. Uh, a couple of figures might help as well. I'll see how we go anyway. Right, let's get these shadows in, shall we? That's the light from the right, isn't it? On the right hand side here, going that way. 
So we're going to get shadows on the front faces of these buildings here and across the road, of course. And this one will cast a shadow across here. And this one will cast a shadow across there. So all these are going to be taken care of. I don't want to put a figure in there, just to liven it a bit. I think I will put a figure in, shall we? In fact, we'll put a couple of figures in. Fred and Mabel. We'll have old Fred and Mabel in. They get all, they get all over the place, they do. Nice bit of colour. See, so he's... What's he going? Now, if I put him about here... Walking down the road, of course. Put my jeans on. Stepping out with his leg out there. Yes, so we'll put Mabel in as well. Yeah, come on, Mabel. You deserve a walk. So we'll put Mabel in. No, let's no, put her at this side, shall we? Then she'll be on the path. A nice cabin yellow top. We should see her right then. Lovely girl. Holding his hand. Ooh, I like that. They've got on their matching jeans from Devon's closing down sale. So uh, we're going to put them in. And she's got red hair. Yeah, well, you know that. She has red hair. No hair, just a red head. That's how it goes. And she's gazing towards him, aren't that? She's... She's tilting her head towards him, listening to every word he says. Because they're only caught in sea. They don't listen much when you're when you married. So enjoy it. There. We need shadows, don't we? Right, let's have a look. We've got, we've got some uh, ultramarine and burnt umber. That's the total we, we, start, we start off with. Mix them two together with less of the burnt umber. And you should get a nice... Like a, a, a bluey colour, which is because the two colours are transparent, uh, anything you add underneath will show through. And if it's dry, it's not wash it off. So let's try. We'll, we'll put this front face of this this building in. It's going to be shaded, isn't it? Probably get a bit of shadow from that that on that and on that one there from the chimneys. We've got a, definitely a shadow under that, that eave there, and one under this one, and one under that one there. That's the first one out of the way. Second one, here again the full face of it in shade. And this one. Shadow under that eave with, with the pantal roofs are hanging over. Don't forget that one. 
Now that's in full sun, so that's all right. That shadow there, shadow there, shadow there. Uh, we'll cast a shadow across the across here, won't we, as well? Let's put the pop there in first. Let's be shadowy across here like this. Look. Of red and Mabel. There'll be shadow across there. This one casts a shadow here, just, just down here. This bush. This this hedgerow will be in shade just there. This will cast a nice shadow down here, down that down the bank like that. And then onto the road. Big tree. This one, uh, Fred and Mabel, cast a shadow, of course. Don't forget them. The this tree here will cast a shadow. Be shadowy under there, of course. These shrubs here will be casting a shadow, and that will cast a shadow, quite a shadow across here. That it, it's quite dark under there, so you get a shadow, a dappled light underneath that, from that shadow there. By doing that, what happens is it, 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 it lightens up the path as well, doesn't it? Make it lighter. I don't, I don't, don't start getting shadow from that. It'll be probably over that tree there so I think if if you start looking for things to do stop that's the time to sort of pack it in uh, I starting to look for things to do I don't do that I don't like to do that but I tell you what we'll I think that, that we'll call that a day folks and it's uh, it's our Norfolk village it's uh, it's still wet. I hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, I've enjoyed painting it, and uh, I'll just drop that on top and just clear up the rubbish out around it. And that's our, that's our Norfolk village, folks. It's, it, uh, oh, oh. Uh, I've liked it. I've enjoyed it. And if you've enjoyed it, please give us a like and a subscribe. And um, we look forward to seeing you on. Lesson 88, I think, next. I can't keep pace with these numbers. Anyway, so, hope you enjoyed it. That's the Norfolk Village, uh, Norfolk Lane, it's lovely. And, uh, and let's hope you get another go painting this one. Until then, folks, bye-bye. It's bye-bye.